Uh, welcome back. Uh, this is the part two of the earlier video which we discussed. Uh, we measured, we uh, calculated the dose required if the concentration of the study state is uh, 10 mg per liter is necessary to yield a therapeutic response. So this is the other question. What is the study state concentration if the dose is 300 mg per day? Okay. So we are going to use a similar equation that we uh, went through. That's a non-linear equal equation. Uh, dose per day okay, is equal to Vmax or Km plus C times C. This is the equation which we are going to use. But this time we had to calculate the steady state concentration. Let's see if we use this equation what will happen. We have concentration at steady state at two places, at the numerator and denominator. So let's rewrite this equation in a different way now. Okay. Now, if you cross multiply this one, dose, you know, it's called Km plus concentration at steady state is equal to Vmax times concentration at steady state. So that is DKM plus DCSS is equal to Vmax times CSS. Okay. Now, if you rewrite this one, this KM is equal to Vmax times CSS minus this dose times concentration at steady state. What we're going to do is we are going to take it a common of concentration at steady state. That is Vmax minus D is equal to dose times Km. Now all we need is concentration at steady state, right? So let's rewrite this equation again. Concentration at steady state is equal to dose times Km, which is constant, divided by Vmax minus D. That is daily dose. Okay? All right. Now, the daily dose is 300 mg per day, and we are trying to measure the concentration of steady state. Okay, so CSS, daily dose of uh, how much? It's 300 mg per day. Okay, 300 mg per day times Km is 4. If you did not remember, watch the video. 4 mg per liter here, and Vmax is 480 mg per day. Okay, divided by Vmax, it is 480 mg per day minus the daily dose, it's 300 mg per day. Okay, now, if you solve this one, 3 times 4, that is 12, um, and 480 minus 300, it's 180. Okay, if you solve this, this one, um, 6 times 2, and 6 times 3, 6, 6, cancel 2 by 3, that is 20 divided by 3, 3, 6, it's roughly 6.667, so you can round it up and say 7 mg per liter. So the concentration that we are going to achieve is 7 mg per liter, uh, a steady state concentration per dose of 300 mg. Alright, I'm going to stop here.